know what day it is. It's Thursday. It's two weeks before the kids arrive. That's all I know. And our week just keeps filling up with other responsibilities. So here's the plan. Tonight, our Christmas tree isn't even decorated yet. It's just standing there naked. So tonight, we're going to... I have to vacuum again because we had some projects that brought us in and out of the room. And you're going to figure out if that wall is plumb. Otherwise, we could no. end up with everything... Not plumb. Well, what's the word? We just have to see. We have three three main walls, and I don't want to have one wall if they're not square that, you know, the pieces look like they're all at an angle. So we're just going to see how they would lay out, and also I don't want to end up with one wall. We just have a really narrow piece. So I got to extend, get a baseline. You'll see. Okay, let's see if I can explain this better, or Gordon can. So that wall... And this wall, we don't know right if they're there. parallel. We don't know if they're parallel. So as we run the boards this way, we wouldn't want to accidentally have them come down the row and then suddenly be at an angle. Yes. Yeah, we want to be. As... We also don't want to just end up with a really narrow board along one of the walls. So I'm trying to extend the wall out, and it's not a perfectly straight wall. So, kind of hard to see what's going on in here. Yeah, oh, we're kind of tripping on ourselves with, you know, dishwashers and stoves and refrigerators and boxes and... <laughs> ah! So Gordon says there's going to be a lot of burning. I think it means his brain working. So here is the line he has drawn. <laughs> that's where we've gotten <laughs> and that's the wall over there that we're going to compare I'm going to guess he's going to take a framing square and he's going to put the long or short end on this line and then he's going to head towards the corner of that wall and he's going to draw a line that's the only thing I can come up with I was going to do that but I'm going to oh. change it up now what are you going to do instead we're going to well this is the wall I'm hoping to hold down here because Hopefully things are square to the foundation. <laughs> right. Can you see that? I see it right there. Okay, where did... Somewhere. Where'd it go? I lost it. Here. There it is. So here's the corner. Here's his mark. I'm going to put one there. I'm just By not going too far off the wall, hopefully we're staying. I'm just kind of sighting square. I don't totally understand what you're doing, but... Okay, I've established three points that should be in a line. Alright? Based on... That wall being straight. But if it's not, it won't. they won't be straight, right? Exactly. Okay. <clears throat> so here's his mark. I have three of those. This wall isn't, fl isn't straight, honey. You're, you're, you're off by an inch. You're, you're too far inside by an inch. You gave me a good idea. <laughs> I gave him a good idea. <laughs> now what? Well, as you could see, it's really hard for someone to try to direct you when you really can't see and they're telling you left or right, left or right. So it'd be a lot easier if I can actually see what's happening. Ah, uh, so he's identifying that this is where it needs to be. Hang on. He's identifying that this is where it needs to be and then you can see where it is. Now, we're not probably going to find out that this wall may not be perfectly straight, <clears throat> so we're going to try to to get the best fit. How's it look? I get so much reflection off the metal one, I can't see no. my line well. No, you're off by three quarters of an inch. You're on the inside of it. Yeah, it's on the inside of this one at the beginning. It's right down the center of the edge one. The middle one, you mean? You know, we have an original wall over here. I wonder how it is on this one. It should be at the eight. I am close to the eight. Notice how it goes. Half inch. How it goes up. So is it possible because of that angle on it that this little uh, 
device is not on a level surface? Uh, it's not level. I'm just trying to get a straight line. I know it's not level, it's just blinking like that. Okay. But it's still a straight line. All right. We how's, think... how's the one that the shiny one? It's uh it's like an eighth, it's like a quarter inch this way. What's this way? Towards me. The line is closer to you. Yes. The, the line is closer to the wall than the red line? No, the, the red line is closer to me than the line. Yes, I said the same thing the opposite way. Good. I'm going to try not to move. Take a pencil and sketch a few dots in front of the door <laughs> on the red line. Okay. Or this marker, which is right next to me. And <clears throat> we can pull it with a straight edge if you give me three that we can check with. Don't move. Easy to say. <laughs> it's blinking all over the place. Okay. Now come back to me about uh, one at the where the two red lines cross. Mm -hmm. One there, and then one a couple feet closer to me than that. Where? Right by the... No, you went like 10 feet, 2 feet closer than that red line. Good. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's shut this thing down. So what we essence did, is we did it, we could have done it with a chalk line, but I did it with a laser is we created a line relatively parallel. I'm looking lose, for it. Did you lose your line? I might have lost it. Damn it. I need all my marks. Uh. Hold it on that far line. You got it? Mm-hmm. Good. Close to being parallel to the wall. That doesn't always mark. You got to make sure to press. Mm -hmm. It's pretty terrible. Okay. okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just choose a spot here. Do we find that tape measure? N no, you said never mind. Oh, well now I need it. Mm -hmm. We're now trying to see how this line compares to that line to see if they're parallel. So we're now going to establish a line perpendicular to this line using our CRTs or common right triangles. Does anyone remember the common right triangles, Carissa? <laughs> I was in New York and took sequential math. Yeah. So no. Okay. So your basic starting, go back over there. Okay. Is a three, four, five triangle. Mm -hmm. That's a right triangle. Sounds important. Yeah. But you can also do like multiples of it. So like three, four, eight, you know, so you multiply those of two, that would be uh, six, eight. So mark, you're right on that, perfectly on that mark? Perpendicular one, yes. Yeah, so now I'm going to make a mark here at six. Okay. Let me think of doing one. So now yeah, what we six. do is we hold this tape measure on this mark here again, right on the line, exactly on the main line. Okay. So very important, to be exactly on that main line. I am exactly on the line. Okay, if that was six, this has got to be eight. So here's our eight, and I'm going to swing an arc on my eight. Oh, we're moving. Oh! Yeah, you got to hold your spot. Hold still. on, you got stuff in the way. I'm not moving a lot. Just a oh, okay. Little. You ready? Yep. No. Okay, so this one here, mm. you're gonna hold it so this edge, see that? Yeah. So that the end of the tape stays right right like that. Wait, let me, I think I got it the way he wants it. So now this comes the fun part. So oh, we, what are we doing? We're, we're pulling <laughs> intersecting lines. Oh, I thought you were going up with it. Okay. Yep. And you can Okay, so this line was six, that one is eight, and this one's ten. Oh! You moved. I did. Don't move. Go now. Do it now. I don't agree with your last one. <gasps> don't move again. I'm not. You gotta choose one and stick with it. I'm sticking with it. I can't feel my finger. Okay, go back to the first one. Oh, it's on it. Okay. And this is eight feet here. Okay. Here we go. Is it a So you can see that my eight foot line was this one. I had to bring it over a little bit. My 10 foot line was this one. 
So then I just put a line that went right through that intersection. So this point here should be perpendicular with that line you had down there. Okay. So we can now extend that line way down. And I'm thinking it might be easier to use a string than the laser. Yes, please. So I have a question. Just because this works, that doesn't tell us what the offset would be on that end. No, we're going to figure that out after. Okay. First, we want to see. Okay. You know, I want I want to establish what I'm going to do is basically establish a baseline this way. Mm -hmm. Even though everything that we're laying is laying the other way. Mm -hmm. But this will give me the ability to get all my measurements. Okay. So Gordon is trying to also incorporate this wall into this measurement. So we have this wall in the living room. We have that wall in the living room that has a line run out into the hall. And then we have that wall. Those are the three parallel, hopefully, walls that we have to deal with. Make sure the powder is tipped, no tips so the powder gets on the string. Okay. So you do let it tip down some so that the, the stuff gets on the string. Okay. Maybe not quite that much, but a little bit at time. So what I'm gonna do... Um, we turned white. Keep, keep it tipped up and can't keep tapping. That's it. Okay, then you're gonna come closer to me, kind of out of string. So, I'm going to hold this on oh. this first line. Hold Keep on, it hold on. Hang on. It's still going. Okay, that's plenty, I guess. Okay, okay so what am I doing? Okay, foot off the floor for starters. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to hold this on this first mark we made here. Come down to lower. Whoa, whoa, up a little. Now go to your left about an inch, I'm guessing. Whoa, down, pull it tight and come down. Okay, go to your left easy. Whoa, keep it tight. Can you go down more? Okay. You're gonna have to eventually get to the floor. Okay, so where am I Go now? right easy, keep it tight, tight. Okay, uh, left easy, hold it, good tension. I'm gonna snap this side. Yep. Snap your side. Okay, let's take a look. And now I remember where my framing square is. Someone go get it. <laughs> can we just use blue? So now we can see if these two walls are close to being square to each other, if they're extremely bad. I would say those are pretty darn close, if not perfect. So we know this wall is pretty square, or parallel with that wall, so that's, that's the first thing. Now we can also get measurements running down this line to see how our boards are going to uh, to interact. I came back because this corner probably has a little bit of fill it does. from the sheet rocking. So this is about two feet here. Yeah, all this stuff for the floor is in here. Chalk line? Chalk line. So I'm gonna go hold it on that mark. Mm -hmm. You make sure the line is across this mark and it just go ahead and extend it right across the hallway some, some distance. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Go ahead. Actually, wait. Okay, now do it. That's plenty for this. Yep. Yeah. Ha! Spot on! Look at that. You can't even tell where the line was because I covered it up. <laughs> Step away from that area. Step away from the area. You walked back through it. Just. Did I though? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at you! Look at that. So now we can see it. Ta-da! We did a pretty darn good job because we those were pretty much existing mm -hmm. walls. So that's good. So we're not going to have a board which we start with just you know, a narrow bit and then it gets wider and wider and wider and then a wide board. All of our main walls are pretty dang parallel good. Uh, to each other. So now we can now use these reference points and uh, get some measurements and then the island, we can extend that out and get a measurement for that too. That's on you. You're the one drawing up the plans. Yeah. And that one's going to be a little rougher. I mean, because we're putting it down before we, we're probably putting it down before we put the backboard in. So we'll be able to hide something, but I will do it. Um, it's a little tricky because this has a bit of a bump out on the end. I'm not taking off. 
So I'll probably just get my my eight foot plank, or maybe I'll just measure off of it like I did the wall on the two ends, and then we'll just maybe extend it with the chalk line. It'll probably be the fastest way to do it. Okay. So let's do it that way. Gordon just asked if we should do this in decimal feet. Oh. Okay, the story behind math is that my sophomore year, I was sent to a boarding school where in New York State, <clears throat> they introduced something called sequential math. Now, mind you, I only made it through, what's the first math you take as a freshman? Algebra one, the first semester, and I was sent to another classroom to redo the first semester of algebra one. Needless to say, I think that by my senior year, the math teacher was like, just, just, just go. Here's a calculator. Yeah. We have a line that's parallel to this line. And we're going to need what this distance here was, which is going to be between here and here. Okay. And then we have a line that's straight off of this. Okay. Then we have a line that's two feet exactly off of this here. So this here is two feet off that. 2.0 feet, because I set that at 2 feet, and then we have a line that is 5 inches off of this thing here, which I'll convert later into decimal feet, because I set it at 5, so we'll just go with the 5 inches. Okay, and I don't remember what that was set at, so I've got to look at, get that measurement. Now we're going to measure off this main line, because we have it, so we need to measure this distance from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and we're probably also going to want a measurement all the way down to the door opening of that main wall, even though I'd like it to break, we actually can have two. We're going to have we kind of the wall, but then you have the jog in, and then you have your door space. And really, if we got really lucky, it'd be great to actually have it break underneath the door um, because we're planning on doing a color change there. But if I have to, I don't mind putting a threshold in a doorway. People like that's very common. So if we have to, we could literally break and do a threshold there to get our, our joint to line up. So we're going to have, I'm going to go to this one, and I'll just measure how far back this distance here would be here. Okay. We could just pull a tape. Yes, but then I'd be reading in inches, and then I'd have to convert. But this will. Um, read in decimal feet and it will give me up to three decimal places so that will be nice gordon's got a new toy so set this on it you just walk along and get the measurement oh okay but i can set there so that's right on my mark how's it look good this fine point that we're getting that or does it start to diverge and we're getting more of an average and so when there's stuff further away so what we'll do now this is going to compare I'm, I'm testing how this laser works so is the laser good enough at that distance to only be measuring it at that laser point or as it lasers as they get further away diverge and get wider is it getting an average when it's way down there and picking stuff up that's next to the the level. This board will give me a nice flat surface, so they should be the same measurements. Really so he's wanting to be reason. directly over this line. You ready? Yep. Mm. I want to be down the basically right down. there. Yeah. Okay, that's the first one. Does it match 13. the other one? Point one four zero, I believe so. We'll look at them when I'm done. Have them in memory. Okay. Looks so, pretty much over the line, right? To the right a little. Right there. I didn't feel like even move. Okay. Good. 23.735. Okay. Look good? Yep. Okay, let's see how they compare. And it shows me we have six measurements in memory. We'll go back to the first one. 13.14 was the first measurement to this line. Then our next measurement was to this line here. So I go plus one. 23.73 to this one. Then my next one was 36.8, and that was to this line. And now our first one here, 13.14, so that's exactly the same. Our next one, 23.735, that is such a tiny uh, difference that you'd probably never even be able to see it. 
Mm. You're talking, um, well, you're talking probably about a sixteenth of an inch. So you probably would be, you know, but it's uh, and the same thing added a five. Yeah. So and so, you know, thirty. So yes, six. The answer is over distance. It will eight oh five. It's hard to be certain because. We could easily have set that board up a sixteenth of an inch different. Yeah. You know. Okay. So it's definitely within the air that you know, I'm not worried about anything that small on Go ahead. Make sure you're over oh, to the left, a lot. To the left, a little more. Right there. Nope, to the right. To the right. Nope, to the left. <laughs> right there. Nope. To the right. Right. There. You gonna move? I hope not. Okay. <laughs> it's not on the wall. No, I went right down between the two. Yep, guys. right between the door jam and the wall. Yep. So you gotta make that decision. So I um, we just I just read that it, the, the the boards are seven inches exactly wide. We'll call it about seven inches. Oh, it's a whole board. Know that information and we're gonna go upstairs and Gordon's probably gonna put a plan together and I'm gonna work on a video so if we don't see you again on whatever day this is see you soon how's it look Ha, 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 ha.